My name is Shehrazad. Hello. I don't think I have to introduce myself to you. You all know me. You all know me because of Fatima, of course. So give her a big cheer, please. Let's hear it for Fatima. May Allah have her soul. She was the one who articulated who I was, what I was all about. You know, I was so fed up with um, that orientalistic gaze people had on me, especially people in the West especially white men, they really went to pieces when thinking of me. They had this crazy erotic fantasy about me. You know, me, mysterious Arab woman, behind the veil, of course, big tits, nice curves, and I made love to the king during 1,001 nights. <laughs> Can you imagine? They all wanted to make love to me. I really think that this fucked up fantasy um, was one of the reasons, among others, the white man was so eager to colonize the Arab world. <laughs> you know, um, They, they just wanted to break into the harem, <laughs> you know, to, to, to see us naked at the edge of a large pool. <clears throat> Come to think of it, it, it is crazy, it's, it's really crazy, crazy combination in, in a dangerous combination in, 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 in the mind of, of, of some white males, you know, um, Arab veiled women at the edge of water? <laughs> you all remember those images last summer in a, a city in the south of France. Um, you have this woman sitting at the beach surrounded by foot tall men, forcing her to unveil herself, to undress herself. so that they could see her skin. Uh, I really think that they hoped to find me beneath all those layers so that I would dance for them. Because that is how they saw me, as a belly dancing sex worker. They even named brothels after me. Can you imagine? From Paris to Berlin, she, Madame Scheherazade, <laughs> 1,000 sex position and one for free. <laughs> oh, fuck off. They should have named libraries after me, universities, literary prizes, instead of that stupid Nobel Prize. Why not the Scheherazade Prize? I'm not a sex worker. I am a political activist. Oh yes, I made love to the king. But I saved the nation by telling stories. The king, as you know, was betrayed by his queen. And um, to take revenge, he decided to, to kill every new woman he married after the first wedding night. So I decided to marry this man. And I took a very big risk. But I was willing to take that risk because I knew that it was the only way I could save 
the nation. I could stop him killing innocent girls. And the only thing I had was the power of my words. The only thing I could rely on was the power of my storytelling. And you know what? The power of my words saved thousands and thousands of girls, women. I saved a nation. I saved humanity. And all the white man could think of was the thousand and one nights of steaming hot sex. <laughs> which I must say was fun, but there was much more to it. <laughs> Fatima, she looked right back at the West, didn't she? Yes, she did. She saw its obsessions, its misconceptions, its lack of self-knowledge, and its overconfidence. And she urged the West to stop its self-beautification. If we in the Muslim world have issues on gender equality, the West has too. They are not, not better than us. They do not hold the holy grail Amen. of gender equality. All of us, we still are under a patriarchal, patriarchal system that puts hudud, boundaries, to the liberty of women. And Fatima saw this. She knew that we women, we still are locked up, regardless skin color, culture, or religion. The only difference was in the way we were locked up. Arab women are locked up between four walls, and Western women are shut up and locked up in time passing by and killing her youth and beauty so that she would no longer be of any interest to the white male. So now. So now, what are you going to do, boys and girls? Tell me, what are you going to do? If I were you, I would go for it. You have everything to win. There are still a lot of marvelous and provoking stories to be told. Go for it. Tell your story. No matter how long or how short the story is, tell it. It will make a difference. Trust me, it will. Thank you. Thank you.